Hello, hello, hello. So, today I really think that I learned the most important lesson of my life. You know, in Yiddish there's a saying. It's called the difference between hidden and dead hidden. Which means sometimes you could hear something and other times you understand what you've heard. So we all speak about having a meaningful life and a purposeful life versus a meaningless life and a purposeless life. But today, my mother asked me to go with her. In fact, I had the mind to do it. So it sort of what we call as Hashkacha Protest, Divine Providence or Divine Coincidence, that we went to the Chiefs Super Bowl victory parade and celebration. So this is a big deal, you know, in America, we won the Super Bowl, first time in 50 years. It's really special. And as I was there at the epicenter, you know, coming from Kansas, I know where to go, right there smack in the middle, it occurred to me something very simple. And if I may quote friend Leo, who said that he heard this from a football player that after 30 years of playing football, he says, you know, I came to realize that if I win another game, it really makes no difference. You know, here we won the Super Bowl and everybody's going crazy and they're selling t-shirts and the whole, I don't know if it's the world, but certainly America, we think we're the world. And actually it doesn't make any difference. It makes zero difference. So we have to analyze which wins matter and which don't. Because so many of us are spending so much time trying to win things that don't matter. Let's analyze the five things that people try to win that don't matter. First and foremost is money. Nobody is on their deathbed and says, wow, I'm such a winner. I had a billion dollars in the bank. Money is obviously a good thing. It's a tool and you should have a billion dollars to give away. But money in its own can be kind of ego directed and thereby people think that if they have more money somehow they're better than someone else. Money actually makes zero difference. God forbid if, I don't know, in a, in, in, in a crisis where let's say money is devalued, Money actually means nothing. You have a potato. Potato is everything. So money actually doesn't mean anything except for what you could use it for, which really is to give it away, whether it's for yourself, your family, for others. But holding on to money, having more money than someone else really is just an insanity. The next thing that people like to win, of course, is recognition, to be well known. And I have to say in my own life, I've had periods where I was recognized. I was a rabbi in a resort town. In my own little sphere, you know, all, all things are within spheres. I would say I was a little celebrity. But once you have recognition, as all Hollywood stars will tell you, it means nothing. And it's a funny thing because until people have something, whether it's money, recognition, they can't really perceive that it means nothing. It really means nothing. It has no value whatsoever. You can't go to sleep happy that you have a billion dollars in your bank account. It just doesn't matter. You can't go to sleep happy that the world knows your name. It just doesn't matter. It's like we're driven by the drive. You know, this clever lady that I recently... Um, had occasion to be at uh, their home, she said, often men don't want whatever they wanted. So we're driven by this drive, but once we get it, we just don't care because it wasn't actually, it's like this kind of winning mentality. The next thing that people like to win, ironically, um, and this could have a good ramification, obviously, is men like to win a woman. But again, that is a little bit of a double-edged sword because if the goal is to win, so you can date and you can win, but often men will lose interest the moment they won. 
And the goal, of course, you can see the problem in this scenario. And additionally, a very interesting thing that, that for a long time people wanted, it's not so much today because it's so much available, but people wanted information. You know, they said knowledge is power. People were very curious and they were coming out with scientific discoveries. Information, you know, the library in Alexandria, you know, thousands of books. So there were kings, they could have had anything, but they were just busy kind of amassing information. And yet information on its own really doesn't make a difference. Whether you know, whether, God forbid, nobody dies saying, oh, thank God I read Encyclopedia Britannica. Again, information on its own without some type of purpose to that information doesn't matter. And the last thing that I'm going to say that we like to win is so subtle, it's so deep, and it's so counterintuitive that unless it comes from the information of Jewish mysticism itself, you could never even say this. And that is that we like to win spirituality. And that too is a mistake. Because if what you're gaining in spirituality or feeling spiritual is like a drug, something that's feeding you, so actually did you do the will of your creator? You may have felt spiritual, you may feel spiritual, as one very clever person who worked for NASA, and um, he told me, he became a little spiritual, he said, spirituality is selfish. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't, again, when we look at all these things, you should have money. You should hopefully be recognized for the goodness you do. You should hopefully have a long-term commitment in a relationship. And you should have good information, and you should have a relationship with God. But all those things should be leading you towards, and this is what it says in the primary book of Kabbalah, I shouldn't say primary, one of the foundational books, definitely the foundational book of Kabbalah written by Abraham called Sefi Yetzirah, Imrotz Libcha, if your heart runs toward God, Shuv Echod return, go back to what God wants of you, ask not, what can I gain, ask, what is my, what is gain itself, 